Today, I am answering a question that came to me from a listener, God bless him, at Michael Cringering is his Instagram handle. He wrote me and he said, should I try to sell a book to a publisher? I started submitting to agents in March um, because I'm hoping to secure someone interested in my novel. I submitted to 153 agents in my genre, but heard back from less than 25%. With that said, and the pandemic raging, should I continue to wait or go ahead and self-publish? Now, I am going to give you the caveat that I am extremely historically negative about traditional publishing. That is because I come from traditional publishing. HarperCollins published six of my books. Simon & Schuster published one. It was a New York Times bestseller, and I am still massively opposed to traditional publishing because I was disillusioned every single time. If you want more information about this, my God, go listen to old episodes. But I'm going to give you the definitive answer to what I think. Given these, I'm not great with numbers, but I'm going to say something. 153 agents is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. March, we're recording this in November, was a long time ago. So I really think it's about weighing how much does it mean to you to have a traditional publisher's name on your spine. So you can hang on and keep on following up. But even just getting the agent, it's just the tiniest little step up the hill. Roughly, this is the most depressing thing I will say in this entire episode, roughly two out of every 10,000 book proposals sell. That's the rough statistic. So even if you get the agent, then there is this submission process, which can also be endless. So I believe it comes down to goals. You can publish a book literally yourself for no money. You could put it on KDP. That's the back end of Amazon. Um, They will give you an ISBN. uh, They will give you a barcode. And uh, you can design your cover and they'll do the layout. You can do that. You can also use companies like companies like Launchpad, where we're booked right now, but it doesn't matter. Um, put this in your back pocket. You where you know we will design the cover, do the layout, and do a launch where it goes into bookstores and you know is a number one bestseller on Amazon and has all these reviews and all of those things. You could also do it on your own. Like as in not just the KDP Amazon back end, but you can do things like Vellum is a software, costs $250, and for the rest of your life, it will lay out books for you. In fact, if you go to the show notes for this episode, I will provide links to Vellum and a whole bunch of other things. Those show notes will be found at launchpadpub.com slash blog slash publisher. Now, you could figure this out. I know people who do. You could figure out keywords and categories. There's this website, there's a software called Publishers Rocket. I will also put a link to that in the show notes. That tells you everything you need to know about keywords and categories and all of that stuff. You could write your own book description. You could write your own author bio. You can do all of these things. But here's the thing. You, Michael, are writing a novel. And the rules with novels uh, are different. First of all, you, you sell, you try to get an agent or a publisher with a completed novel as opposed to a nonfiction book where you would have to write a proposal with very few exceptions. But, you know, I say as a former novelist, my first two books were novels, you need to have a goal. I didn't have a goal. I just thought, oh, I'm going to write these novels and like I'm going to be hugely successful. They'll probably make like a reality show about me. Um, th- th- these books will definitely be made into movies and be New York Times bestsellers and all of those things. I actually got close on those things. Uh, HarperCollins did want to develop a reality show about me. The movie rights have been optioned over and over again, but it didn't happen. And it happens to 0.0001% of people. I ended up you know, making, I got paid $50,000 for my first book. By the end of my traditional publishing book career, I was being paid $2,000. I was not making enough money to live on. So maybe we're all great artists and we want to just put out our work because it's important and we want to help people, but we also need to pay our rents and our mortgages. And I could not do that until I figured out what do I want this book to do for me? What is my 
goal? What do I define as success? Because if you are going to rely on a publisher or uh, anybody else for success, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, it happens one in a million times. If you are going to say, okay, from this book, I want to get clients. I want to uh, get people to sign up for my coaching, whatever it is, then you can, can, the book will be successful because you will design it to get you what you want. For instance, I released a book in July, uh, Make Your Mess Your Memoir. Um, I got on Good Morning America. Um, I sold, I don't know the exact number, but let's say safely under 5,000 books. However, That book brought in so much new business that we're now booked for the next year. Hundreds of thousands of dollars as a result of that book, not at all from book sales. Now, I'm a very practical person. Like like one time my mom took me shopping and she said, I'll buy you anything you want as long as it's whimsical and it has no purpose. And I literally couldn't do it. So I say, if you are going to do a novel... Get really clear about what your goal is going to be because chances are no one's going to hire you as a coach based on a novel um, or bring in, you know, business or whatever it is. So get really, really clear about your goals and know this. Your publisher isn't going to help you. I told you I was negative about publishing. The average book that's published traditionally sells 300 copies. The publishers are putting their efforts into the books that where the authors were paid million dollar advances because they want to earn their money back. So everything you do, you're going to have to do whether it's traditionally published or self-published. Now, and you can get on media and in bookstores without them. I just told you I was on Good Morning America. Uh, for this book I published, I wasn't on that show for any of the books Harper published. Um, I, I've talked about this in previous episodes, but I wasn't able, Harper would tell me bookstores didn't want my books, and I w- I've been able to get Make Your Mister Memoir in tons of bookstores just on my own. So my point is this, you don't need them. That being said, if it's like on my bucket list is I want to publish a book and have like Random House or Simon Schuster or Harper or Collins release it, then do it. But if your goal is to get a writing career, A, have a career that's going to back up that writing career, where the writing career can feed into that, or B, be independently wealthy and a true artiste. I hope this wasn't too discouraging. Um, and I hope that, I hope that Michael, you get signed and, and you are one of those authors that gets given in a million dollar advance. But, um, but just in case, take my cynical, negative, yet experienced wisdom to heart. By the way, if you want to me to answer your question on this show, just DM me on Instagram at Anna B. David. And again, get the show notes uh, for this episode at launchpadpub.com slash blog slash publisher. I'll see you next time.